Strategic Sustainable Lifestyle Creation One Community Weekly Progress Update Number 109 One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for profit and non profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. Hi, my name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update 109, April 5th, 2015 edition. Now, as always, I'm going to be covering with pictures and video all of our team's accomplishments for the last week. And if you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Last but not least, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred the final 50% of the written design and images for the Civilization lesson plan to the website. You can see this here, and this lesson plan teaches all subjects to all ages in any learning environment using the central theme of Civilization. We also added the final 35% of the Indigo section and 30% of the Violet section to the Technology and Innovation Molecule webpage, which you can see here. Violet includes information overviews and links that provide details about companies and brands that have had the greatest impacts on humanity in regards to technology and innovation. Paige Allison Donatelli, graphic designer and owner-operator of Namaste Living in a Material World, also finished 25% of the image creation for the Open Source Lesson Plan Mind Map. When complete on the site, this lesson plan will teach all subjects to all learning levels, just like the Civilization lesson plan in any learning environment, but this time using the central theme of open source sharing. Paige also helped us create this new image for the Spring lesson plan, which we featured this week across our social media net networks and channels. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source celery hub. And we did this for our food forest shrub plantings hub too. We also researched and added the final major component to the open source lettuce hub, recipes. You can see these new additions here. Uh, we also did this for the open source squash hub. These first recipe lists will grow as our food experts continue the process of designing the food self-sufficiency transition plan for remote village construction. In addition to this, we also added a new delicious recipe from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB, to the food self-sufficiency transition plan page. You can see that here, and it is mango and blood orange smoothie. Details are on the page. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, 
and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working on highest good housing continued progress on the assembly specifics for the open source Murphy bed furniture. This work is happening behind the scenes and what you see here will be part of the earth bag village and the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. This week, we finished assembly instructions for the upper, middle, and lower drawers of the nightstands. What you see here is all the behind the scenes work in progress and we estimate we are now 65% complete with what is needed for the website. Also behind the scenes, we finished another 20% of the earth dome loft construction tutorial specifics. This work included inserting new steps and rearranging the order, adding more construction details, reviewing and altering the hatch design, and updating the video list and sequence. We're now 55% complete with this behind the scenes work. Scott Thomas and his Shadow Ridge Signature Architecture Program team began putting the complete Earthbag Village components together in AutoCAD, and you can see half of the village placed here in CAD. And Sheng Shu, mechanical design engineer, also finished his second round of SolidWorks design specifics for the Three Dome cluster of the upcoming crowdfunding campaign. What you see here is the addition of accurate artistic elements that will be around the doors and windows, as well as smoothing of all the corners. Nelly Leventhal, Graphic designer and college professor also created this first concept sketch for the Earth Ship Village Pod 6, featuring a stack design of four units. And last but not least, the core team added the amazing AutoCAD and design work of Dave Wallen, architectural drafter and designer and owner of Dave Philip Wallen Design, to the Straw Bale Village Pod 2 open source hub. You can see these new additions here and read all about this village on the web page. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This last week, Robert Setton, solar design engineer and owner of Solar Hybrid Design, produced these baseline production calculations, battery-specific calculations, and initial electric load comparisons for the Phase 1 solar infrastructure, bringing us one huge step closer to what we need to finalize these specifics on the site. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working on the highest good society components finished rebuilding all the menus and finished the radioactive waste chapter rewrite on the People's Agenda 21 site. This new page offers education and resources for any individual or local level community interested in being proactive about addressing radioactive waste challenges. Core team also created the beginnings of this new legal page, Purpose to Open Source Share, the legal processes and documents required for our nonprofit and for-profit entities. And thanks to the amazing help of Yusuf Suleiman, lawyer and member of the Nigerian Bar Association, we were able to finish weeks of edits and updates to our nonprofit bylaws that can now be viewed and downloaded from the new legal page. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community's purpose is strategic, sustainable lifestyle creation. It's strategic in that our purpose, our goal, our mission is nothing short than the complete and total transformation of our planet into a world that works for everybody. We have a very specific path that's defined on our website of making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrating as attractive enough so that the idea of sustainability will spread on its own. Ultimately, what we want to create is a solution model that creates additional solution-creating models. Teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world that will teach other people how to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too. Spreading sustainability. Now, we said strategic sustainable lifestyle creation, so the sustainable aspect, the sustainable lifestyle aspect of it, is an evolution of sustainability that combines the physical components of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which are highest good living practices, including fulfilled living, education, highest good economics, which is for-profit, non-profit business creation, as well as true earth stewardship. 
taking these two things and putting them together for a comprehensive and holistic model of sustainability that we believe people will find to be far superior to the way that they're living right now. And we believe that, as we said, if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate as attractive enough, then this idea will spread on its own, transform the planet. And the affordable aspect of it, the strategic sustainable lifestyle creation affordability component, is based on open sourcing everything that it is that we do. So we're bringing together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all, people that want to create a better world for everybody, and we're saying, okay, let's create all of these foundations, all these blueprints, all the tutorials, all the tools, all the resources that people need to bring sustainability into their life as either individual components or as the complete model. And let's make it all open source and free share it so it's as easy as possible for people to engage this information. And by bringing together the people with that consciousness, everything that we create, everything that we do, is thought of from this perspective of how can we help the most people, how can we most be most effective in accomplishing our mission and our goal of total transformation of this planet. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds exciting to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, we invite you to participate. We have lots of different ways for people to get involved, ranging from pioneers, which are the people that will move on to the property, to uh, partners and consultants, which are the people helping behind the scenes, donating their time to helping everything move forward, to satellite members that are involved, just like pioneers, in that they're on our weekly uh, planning calls and our project team calls and everything like that, but they don't intend to move to the property. All these options are available for participation because we want to make it as easy as, as possible for people to get involved and because we realize that the reality of building a bridge between pragmatism and idealism is just a matter of participation. It's really just a matter of participation. And so we know that the more people that participate, the closer we get to bringing these two things together. And so we are focused on making that as easy as possible. Now, one way that we make it as easy as possible and an easy way for people to help us as well is through social media. We are on all the different social media networks because we want to spread our message as quickly and as efficiently as we possibly can. So that means we are on Facebook, we are on Twitter, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, we are on Sue, our favorite social media network. We've got a couple different blogs that we run, as well as 10 or 12 other social media networks to get the information out and into the hands of the people that want it and need it most. So if you're on a social media network, look for us, share our information is one of the easiest ways that you can help. The other way that people can help, the biggest way that people could help, is to help us get the property off the market. We've been working with the same property for four years. It took us two years to identify it. We've been working with it for four years now. We've established a relationship with the county. We've cleared away most of the hurdles, almost all the hurdles, for being able to build sustainably and to be able to build these alternative building methods in an environment where we can help to expand the international building code by making these things mainstream and getting them better accepted and more commonly known but we still don't own the property. And so the next big step is to find that individual, that group that would like to invest in one community or donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization and help us to get the property off the market so we can disclose the location so we have people on the ground working with the specifics and the details that can't be accomplished until we actually own that property and open sourcing and free sharing all those details as well so that people buying properties of their own will have that open source content too to go along with everything else that we've created, which we get feedback from all over the world, from people saying that, hey, we're using your content, it's amazing, thank you, you're helping us so much in setting a, up an eco-village here or there, all over, we've got people contacting us from every single continent. Our team is an all-volunteer team. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're doing it because we want to be the change that we can want to see in the world. We know that it's possible within our lifestyle to create a world that works for everybody. Because we know that with appropriately strategic, sustainable lifestyle creation, the idea will spread on its own. And so this is what we're focused on. This is what we're doing. This is what we're accomplishing. So thank you for watching our blog. As always, if you'd like uh, to receive email updates, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. We'll add you to our email list. You can, of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.